Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Go inside the vehicle, open up the hood. Got our drain bucket in place to catch up and dispose of the coolant properly. You can either drain the coolant from the lower radiator hose attached to the radiator, or you can remove the hose clamp and the hose from the top here from the engine, and then direct the hose down into the bucket, which is what I'm gonna do. Clamp would be the same in the bottom one. I'm just using some slip joint pliers. So if you squeeze it just the right way, it's got a little lock, it'll lock together. I can slide it down. Reach down and work on getting that hose off. Should always do this when the vehicle is cool. It's gonna come gushing out here. To remove this plastic shield that's in the front of the engine compartment, there are 10 clips. One, two, three. 10. Take a small flat bladed screwdriver or a trim clip tool, and pop them up to, lo to loosen them. They need to go in like this. Pull them out. If the middle comes out, it's okay. And then this is this rubber seal is clipped in here. Just kind of pop it out. Use a small flat bladed screwdriver, just pop it up. Use a trim clip tool. These may break when you're taking them out. You might want to have some new ones on hand. If the middle comes out, it just pushes right back in there. Just repeat that for all the clips. These ones are a little trickier because they're deep inside here. Let's try to get this in here and prime up. Go along and do the same for all of them. This should just lift right off now. And then we'll put it aside. Reinstall the lower radiator hose to the engine. Put that right in place. We'll go on right to that that little stop right there. Get the clamp roughly where it was. The flat bladed screwdriver. Pry it down. There it is. Snapped into place. And it's sealed up. Remove the radiator cap. Just unscrews. We we're going to fill this system at the radiator so that we're not, you could fill it through the overflow bottle. It would just take a long time to fill. So I'm going to fill up the radiator and then I'm going to top off the overflow. You could use a regular funnel. We've got a special funnel we're going to use, but it doesn't really matter because it will pressurize and bleed through the overflow and we'll do that after we fill it. We use a 50-50 mix of the appropriate coolant, which is Dexcool, and fresh water. So the line is on the back of the reservoir. I filled the radiator. I'm going to remove the funnel. I might lose a little bit of coolant. It's almost topped off at the cold level. I'm just going to let a little coolant in. 
There it is. Put this back into our bottle. Now remove this and replace our radiator cap. Our radiator is filled to the top, which is where, right where I want it. Now I need to run the vehicle, check for leaks, and then bleed the system. I'm going to start the vehicle in a safe place to have it running, so outside. I bring the RPMs up to between 20, 2,000 and 2,500 RPM until it comes up to operating temperature. Then we'll let it idle for three minutes, shut it off, let the vehicle cool, and then we'll recheck the coolant level and top off as necessary. After that, the job will be complete. Install the upper cover in the engine compartment. I'm going to slide it under that ground point. It's going to go over these rubber mounts here, both sides. Let's go under this weather strip. Same thing for both sides. Reinstall all the push clips. It's easier to push the clips in if you pull out the center part. This is the last one. And that is complete. Close your hood. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.